Beautiful. Five points of damage. And that means... <laughs> Scratch, you have the opportunity to do the funniest thing ever. Here we go. <laughs> All right, we are back in Baldur's Gate with Haythic Willowhane and his team, who in the last episode saved the last light in from near certain destruction, but were then immediately tasked with assaulting the Moonrise Towers. Now, I don't have much of a plan for today's episode other than we are just going to step outside of this place and see what happens. There are some Harpers on the bridge out of town uh, who have offered to uh, help us. I believe they want to um, assault or ambush a caravan of some kind that might contain some secret that will allow us to traverse the Shadow Curse lands a little more easily. Uh, we also have to keep an eye out for uh, Halson asked us to look for a way to wake up Art Kulla. So we're going to keep our eyes open for that as well. But either way, we've already long rested, uh, so the team is ready to go. We can't put it off any longer. Let's jump in. Out to the bridge we go. Let's go talk to these harpers. The Say the word, and we set the ambush in motion. Let's take on that convoy. You lead, I'll follow. Splendid. I'll mark your map should you lose the way. Oh, okay. Harpers with me. Good. Stray no more than an arm's length from your course. Oh, jeez. Can we really follow you? I'm just going to follow you. <laughs> he said he marked it on our map, which means we probably could go poke around if we wanted to, but I don't see a reason not to um, just stick with these guys. All's well that ends. Oh. Uh, as bad as it could have. What is going on here? It's like they lost a fight. No, don't get too far away from me. <laughs> oh, I hate you. <laughs> All right. These guys are running so fast. Get over here. Go, go, go. They're so much faster than we are. <laughs> All right, nice. They didn't get too far away. They've got themselves set up for the ambush. Let's talk with uh, Harper Branthos. Very well. About this ambush, sir. We bring more to your church every day, my queen. Your followers are legion. Oh, Hathic, where are you? Why do you look like you're further away? <laughs> oh, what is that? Soon we march. Soon uh, we'll bow to you. Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> we're boss. <laughs> Something moved up there. Webass. Want me to drag it out? We're gonna stay hidden and keep watching. I wanna see if we can learn more about them before we attack. We're gonna stay hidden. We're doing it. We're staying hidden. They stay in the light! They do not go into the dark! Ugh. Didn't figure something as big and ugly as you for a coward! <laughs> no! They will not Ugh. go into the dark! Dude! Enough! Stop! They will not become shadow! They will not feed the curse! Forgive me, Dude. but I had to before the dark got any stronger. Dude, that thing is awful. <laughs> that thing is gruesome. All right, we're going to fade into the background until they pass. I want to let the Harpers take lead on this. I'm not going to signal them to attack. I'd like to see if we can get some sense of, like, where they're going or what the hell they're doing. So, here we go. Shadowheart, little guidance. Thank you very much. Ooh, Blessing of the Trickster. We'll take that instead, right? Yeah, advantage on stealth checks. Done. All right, here we go. Big money. Nice. We will carry your light, Majesty. Oh, he's got one of those lanterns. We have one of those. The hells are you waiting for? Attack! <laughs> Alright. Heretics! Blasphemers! Kill them all! Alright. them! Kill the Dryder! Oh my god. Alright, hold on. Everybody calm down. <laughs> oh no. Alright, Gale will indeed use Counterspell. It is a level 3 Abjuration spell. We will use a level 3 Counterspell. Beautiful. All right, my goodness. All right, I thought we'd get to learn more about them, but that's just fine. We'll attack. Let's find out about this guy. A monstrosity. A level six drider. That sure is a monstrosity. My God, that thing is horrifying. That is one of the most horrifying <laughs> 3D models I've ever seen. <laughs> I think it's gross. All right, he's got moon shield. He's protected by a light of a moon lantern. The shadow curse does not affect this entity. He's got Spindleweb Fanaticism. Affected Entity and its allies deal an additional 1 to 6 psychic damage as long as it isn't incapacitated. Hmm. The Entity's movement speed is also increased by 10 feet. He's threatened, he's a dual wielder, he's alert. Dark Devotion, advantage on saving throws against being charmed or frightened. Dark Vision, improved critical hit. Good God. Multi-attack wounded target. 
Uh, <laughs> I hate this. Sting the Helpless, a drow elf wielding this weapon, deals an additional 1 to 4 poison damage against restrained targets. Sunlight Sensitivity, while in sunlight this creature has disadvantage. Well, we're nowhere near sunlight, huh? And he's a webwalker. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Who's first? Basket? Go ahead, why don't you go scratch him? <laughs> Done, you miss. That's fine. Alright, Lizelle, it is your time to shine. Let's get you out here. We're gonna misty step her. Oh, behind this guy? Yeah, behind this guy so that she doesn't hit other people if we want to do any, like, sweeping attacks. Done. And how about you start laying in on this fella? Let's hit him with, uh, he's got a weapon, right? How about a disarming attack? Done. Lizelle, you got this. Come on. Come on. You miss! No, Lizelle! Uh, <laughs> she's doing it again. She's trying it again. We managed it last time. She missed the first one. She got the second one. Let's go, Lizelle. You got this. Come on. Come on. Nice! And he drops his weapon. I love it. I love it. And Lizelle, your action surge. Thank you very much. Let's hit him with a soul breaker. Done. Miss. Oh, Lizelle. Lizelle. How about a lacerate? How about a lacerate? Oh, all right, whatever. At least we made him drop his weapon. Done. All right. Scratch, why don't you step up and give him a bite? And you miss as well. I hate this guy. I hate this guy. <laughs> What's his AC? G Scott, it's 19. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. All right, here go all the goblins. Uh. Guard against the darkness. One of the goblins uses Reckless War Cry. A Harper gets a critical hit on a goblin, puts him down. Thank you very much, guys. Come on, Harpers, you got this. Don't use Hunter's Mark. Alright, nice. Another critical hit. Another critical hit. Man, these Harpers are fantastic. Alright, Haythic is burning. Haythic, why don't you step out of the fire? All right, Haythic, why don't you slow this guy? Let's bring his AC and his dexterity down a bit. We'll do a level four slow. Done on Karnas. I hate him. Oh, I could do it on a bunch of people? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. We haven't used slow yet. Let's put. Let's do it on everybody. Done. Two. <laughs> All right, nice. Done. Let's see. Come on. Karnas. Karnas is slow. Beautiful. They all got slowed, but this is the guy I'm mostly... We're not hitting him. Let's take a look at that. Nice, dropped his AC. That's good. That's good. I like it. All right, Haythic, how about some Bardic Inspiration on Shadowheart? She's up next. And that is your turn, my friend. All right, Shadowheart. Let's start with your Spirit Guardians. Radiant damage. Done. And let's uh, Misty Step you out right next to this guy as well. We'll also stop anybody from running up that ramp. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hits him with Spirit Guardians. Fantastic. That's your turn. All right, Gale, it's your turn. Let's open up with good old Magic Missile, level four this time, and let's dump them all into Karnas. Done. Beautiful. All right. All right, Gale, that is your turn. One of the Harpers runs off and hits a goblin. Fantastic. Puts the goblin down, man. You guys are making short work of these goblins. This is fantastic. The Absolute wills it so. The Absolute does not will it so, because Gale is going to counterspell your Cloud of Daggers. Nice. <laughs> oh, I love counterspell. That is fantastic. All right, he just walks off nice and slow. <laughs> All right, Harpers, what else you got? One of the goblins uses Rage Wolfheart and throws more fire at us. I hate you. Uh. <laughs> All right, Lizelle, it is your time to shine. This guy has advantage on being frightened, so we're not going to try to frighten him. We'll do a regular old main hand attack. Don't miss. Nice. She is not missing now. Oh, I like slow. I didn't know you could target so many, so many characters. We're going to be using that a lot. My goodness. All right, Lizelle, one more. For good measure. You- oh, that was so good. That was so good. How about this? Why don't we pommel strike this guy as well? Done. Critical miss on the pommel strike. That's just fine. Basket. How about a scratch? You miss. And scratch. 
<laughs> Scratch, you need an attack called Basket. Alright, how about a bite? And you miss as well. Whatever. Just fine. Alright, the Harper who is out here with the world's tallest goblin. What is this? What was that? He is a half-orc. A level 5 half-orc. Interesting. Alright, Harpers are still doing their work. Running all up and down the battlefield. <laughs> You're killing me. Good job. Alright, Haythic loses his slow concentration. That is not ideal. Guess what, pal? You're getting slowed again. We are absolutely slowing him again. <laughs> We're doing it. Done. Alright, everybody. Get slowed. Alright. Shadowheart, your turn. Oh, you know what? Damn it. We're already concentrating on Spirit Guardians. We didn't use, uh, Haythic has Polymorph. We gotta turn this guy into a sheep. <laughs> oh, I should have done that. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Maybe if he's still alive next round, we might turn him in. <laughs> we might turn him into a sheep. Alright, Shadowheart, you are on fire. You are standing in fire, and I really don't need you standing that close to the guy. I don't think we will get an attack of opportunity if we step away from him. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Because then we can hit him with... We did not get. Nice. We did not get an attack of opportunity, and now we can hit him with a Guiding Bolts. Let's go with the level 3 Guiding Bolts. Oh, we're on low ground. Boo! Shadowheart, can you get away from here? <laughs> nice. Alright, you can make it up here. Done. Jump up here so you're not on low ground. And let's hit him with Guiding Bolt. Beautiful. Level 3, Guiding Bolt. Big money, you got this. Beautiful. That was fantastic. That was fantastic, Shadowheart. Alright. Tale for the ages. Gale, it is a tale for the ages. What are you gonna do? Alright, Gale, since everything over there is already on fire, why don't we use our Scorching Ray? Oh, nice. With advantage. Done. Ah. Nice! Oh, very, very nice. Alright, Gale, that's your turn. One of the Harpers runs up. Smashes Karnas. I love it. This guy's trying to escape, I think. No, okay, cool. Kansif, that was his name. He cast Fireball, and Gale is going to counterspell that, my friend. Oh, God, counterspell is so good. <laughs> he jumps. All right, cool. He's not running away. He's just running around. That is just fine. All right, here goes that. Oh, no! We lost the Harper! That half-orc thing. Ah, oh, what a bummer. One of the Harpers is dead. Oh, he's still going. And he runs up to join the fray. Beautiful. You know, you guys aren't bathed in this light. Oh. Harper used Venom Claws on Harper Lysandra, but we finally get to use Sentinel. Lazelle's reaction when an ally is attacked by a nearby creature, you may strike the attacker. Yes, we'll definitely do that. Done. Beautiful. Oh, he's so close to going down. All right, Lazelle, you might be able to do the honors here. Main hand attack. Put him down. Oh, Lazelle, no missing. No missing! <laughs> Alright, try it again one more time. Done. Oh, Lizelle! <laughs> Alright, there's nothing better for Lizelle to do than how about we demoralize the enemy with a little power. Done. Alright, Scratch, if you do the honors here, I'm, how much does he got left? Nine points. What do you do? Seven. No, alright. Alright, Basket, a couple points of damage. Do it. <laughs> Beautiful. Five points of damage. And that means... <laughs> Scratch, you have the opportunity to do the funniest thing ever. Here we go. <laughs> the bug ugly is down. Oh my god. I hear you. That thing was disgusting. Alright. Scratch, that is your turn. The Harpers are gonna go. Lay in on these half-orcs, please. Run around the battlefield. Nice. Main hand attack on Kansa puts him down. Shadowheart's concentration was broken, but that is just fine. Haythic, I don't think we're going to be able to see anything from here. Where do we have left? Oh, no, he's right in front of us. Where's the other guy? All right, just the one half-orc left. He's right in front of us. He's got too many hit points to go to sleep, but he does not have too many hit points to get shattered, my friend. Yes, indeed. No one's going to get hit in the crossfire there. Done. Level 3 shatter. Boom. Beautiful. Love it. All right, Haythic, how about you use a healing word, level three, on Harper Lissandra, because she's not looking too good. Nice. Oh, that's very good. Very, very good. All right, that's your turn. 
Shadowheart, you're gonna cast Spirit Guardians again if you can. Yes, indeed. Radiant damage. Let's go. And you're gonna step forward and get that guy enveloped in the Spirit Guardians. Beautiful. Now he's gotta run past- he's either gonna attack Shadowheart or run past her and get a- an opportunity attack, so beautiful. That's your turn. Gale, I think you know what to do. How about level two magic missile? Done. Put this guy down. We're getting there. He's gonna get one shot on us. If he's not done, we can put him to sleep. Beautiful. Harper Sandra uses her newfound health to good effect. <laughs> Take advantage of it while you're still alive. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Half orc nearly killed Harper Lissandra. Alright, Lazelle. Main hand attack with advantage. Beautiful, and he's done. And Lazelle's inspired. Nice. Alright. Let us search this awful spider guy. <laughs> he's got nothing. He did drop his weapon. The moon lantern. There it is. Let's grab that. Oh no. Lantern gives off a chilly glow. Someone's yelling. Protecting all in its vicinity from the surrounding shadows. Nice. Incredible magic. I can feel the light lifting the shadows. Even those within me. Be safe and be brave. We expect no less. You notice a tiny pixie trapped. Oh within. my god. <laughs> These fey creatures are infamous for their trickery. Sometimes oh no. Playful, sometimes malicious. Oh please, oh golly, me oh my. You must release me or I'll die. Oh this my god. <laughs> likes the way when I am hurting night and day. Oh my god. <laughs> of course the lantern light is a tiny little creature trapped inside of the lantern. What else would it be? Of course it's that. All right. <laughs> We're not gonna release the pixie sight unseen. Like, we're gonna find out more. So let's, we're gonna start with the bardic answer. Legends tell of the fey trapping people, not the other way around. Why are you in here? My pixie dust is bright as day. My injuries can light the way. Oh god, that's probably mm. true. Quite clever. Oh god. And cruel, of course. <laughs> but creatively so. Oh my god. Shadowheart, no. <laughs> Who are you? My name? My name is Dolly Thrice. Now won't you free me from this vice? Alright, what's this mechanism at the base of the lantern? I dare not name it, newfound friend. The faintest touch could spell my end. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Alright, alright. This is a bummer. <laughs> this is... There's clearly a thing inside of the lantern, and it sure does seem like these people would torture a creature just to extract its light. Um, I was really hoping we could ask the question. I had a question in here that said, if I release you, will you help me anyway? <sighs> I don't think Haythic can torture a creature just to gain light. I feel like whatever's coming out of this thing, we're gonna have to fight it. <laughs> but I... <laughs> I'd rather go down that route than carry around... Just to think that we're carrying around a tortured creature, I don't think that's Haythic style, so... Oh, God! I can't believe I'm doing this. We're releasing the pixie, it's done. Release the pixie, it's done! I did it! Lazelle disapproves. Finally! Been trapped in that coffin with no one but a Madge Rider and my own farts for company. Did me a good turn there, didn't you? What do I owe you? Oh my god, don't kill us. <laughs> uh, alright, yeah, let's see if she can help us. I need to get through this shadow curse. Can you help? Sure I can, but will I? <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> alright, cool, good. Here. Give this bell a shake. Speak the magic words and you'll get what you've earned. Protection from the shadow curse. What more could a dingus want? Oh my god. I can't believe I let You're her welcome. go. You're <laughs> welcome. Alright. Haythic was inspired by that. We do get to see some interesting things. <laughs> almost makes the mortal peril worth it. Almost. Yeah, almost. Alright, we received the filigreed Fey Wild Bell. We still have a bunch of things to search in here. Uh, the ornately decorated bell, tarnished with age, rings with a mischievous giggle, not unlike the, its pixie enchanter. Hmm. Karnas also had cruel sting. 
I guess we're gonna give that thing a shake. We're gonna, just in case there's terrible things, we might do a few things first. We're gonna see if we can long rest here. We long rested somewhere else in the dark, so we should be just fine. The Harpers have ran off and left us, that's fantastic. There's a stuffed bear in here? <laughs> Alright. We'll take that, sure. A rotten lemon, a bunch of rotten fruit, a potion of greater healing, that's fantastic. Thank you very much. Man, that was a lot right up front. My word. We really jumped into the deep end, I did not expect that. Nice, one of the half-orcs had thermo-arcanic gloves. Arcane ashes, whenever you deal fire damage, you gain two turns of heat. What's heat? One to four damage. Alright, cool. We'll take it. We don't really have anybody focused on fire, necessarily, but we'll take it anyway. Nice, there's a wooden chest up here. Infinium. Head on up, Hathic. We'll lockpick that. Done and done. A little guide in Shadowheart, thank you very much. Big money. Oh, nice! That was fantastic. A Hammergrim Mist Amulet. Gives Fog Cloud. Interesting. You know, we never use this Ray of Fear or Wounding Ray. Hmm. Hmm. That's a good question. He just frightens targets. We might- we might mess around with, uh, that fog. We'll let Gale try that out. There you go, Gale. Nice. Alright, we are going to use that bell that the pixie- <laughs> The pixie gave us. How ridiculous. Uh, but we are going to try to long rest first because we got spent. Done. Let's go to camp. All right, we long rested, we're ready to go, and I noticed we have the Pixie Blessing. I haven't used the bell yet. We're actually, I'm gonna see if the bell is usable. It had a usable, it had a, a use command in the right click, so we're gonna see what it does, if it does anything, but uh, the Shadow Curse cannot affect this creature thanks to the Pixie's protective magic. Interesting. We're still gonna use this, and we're gonna do it right now. Done, use. Let's see what happens. Been blessed already, haven't you? Move on with your <laughs> life. Alright, cool. Alright. <laughs> the pixie has already rudely blessed us. Alright, good, 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 good. Alright, so we're not gonna go to the Moonrise Towers right away. We're gonna go see if we can help uh Halson first. We're gonna see if we can find our way out to uh a way to wake up Art Culla. Um But in theory, I don't need that light on. Yeah, it seems like we're okay. We don't even see the shadows kicking around anymore, really. Alright. All right, good. Let's see. The smell oh. Of trap. oh, 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 oh. Oh my god. What's that? <laughs> All right, trying to make my way down to the House of Healing. Hathic has... <laughs> what the fuck is this? All right, we're trying to make our way down to the House of Healing, and Hathic just detected a trap. There's a bunch of measles <laughs> who are waiting to ambush us. Oh, boy. There's also a loose brick here. All right, before we get into ourselves into a fight, we're gonna mess with the loose brick. I'm doing it. It's done. <laughs> There's a key. There's a Potter's chest key. All right, done. All right, I guess, uh, I guess let's ambush them. You know, we never got to use our uh, crown of madness, really. We got this, like, a hundred years ago. Let's see if we can make the guy on the far side. Can we reach him? We can. Let's see if we can make him, uh, go crazy and attack his friends. That'll get us into battle. Done. Oh, he, he saved Crown of Madness. Boo. They are surprised, though. That's good. Nice. All right, Basket goes first. Oh, these guys are kind of high level. All right, let's take a look at these guys. They've got dark vision and they're surprised. Whatever. Basket, why don't you come out here and see if you can scare one of these guys? Done. Scare that guy. He's frightened. Nice. <laughs> Done. All right, since we just long rested, unless this goes, like, really south, I'm not necessarily looking to, uh, spend a bunch of our spell slots and all of our special attacks. So we'll have Lizelle get out here, and we'll see if we could do some damage with some main hand attacks. Done. Let's see how this does. You got this, Lizelle. Nice. Nice. We'll hit him for another one. Oh, and you miss. Boo. Oh, there's four of these guys, and they got pretty, pretty good stats. Do we use the action surge? Whatever, we can get this back with a short rest. All right, Lizelle, action surge. And let's go for round two. You got it. Come on, Lizelle, please. All right, Lizelle, you got this. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. There we go. All right. The other measle was surprised. I love that they're called measles. That's hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, what do you got for cantrips? Oh my god, your Netherese Orb Blast is a cantrip. <laughs> That's ridiculous. 
All right, let's see if we can hit this guy with a firebolt. Done. Nice. Five damage. Beautiful. Yeah, why don't you celebrate? You haven't used your, uh, your violin yet. How about you play the power? I love it. <laughs> All right, Shadow Hearts. Why don't you come out here with a main hand attack? Make this quick. Beautiful. Critical hit. Shadow Heart, that's your turn. We may end up using some spells here, huh? <laughs> I was hoping we get out of here with cantrips and regular attacks. All right, Hathic, hey, you haven't done a ranged attack in forever. How about we hit this guy with a hamstring shot? Done. He's hamstrung. Beautiful. And why don't you join Gale with the power? Beautiful. All right, Scratch, why don't you head on down here and see if we can bite this guy? Beautiful. And you miss. <laughs> Scratch, you never really hit. Alright. Oh no, the surprise measle! Oh, what did he do? He's garroting. Ooh, Shadow Heart? Oh god, alright. Lizelle's gonna use Sentinel. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh my god. Oh, I don't like whatever they're doing. <laughs> they teleport everywhere. Oh, this is not cool. All right, we're definitely going to be using us. Hoping we get out of this with, with just regular attacks. But I think we're <laughs> going to be seeing what we can do here. All right, basket. How about you go ahead and scratch that guy? Nice. Victory awaits. All right, we're not going to mess around with these guys. My goodness. <laughs> we will use. Uh, we'll try our new goading attack on this fella. Done. He's goaded. Now he gets disadvantage on attacking anyone but us. And, uh, why don't you see if you can put this guy down, uh, with a regular attack? Beautiful. Oh, we already used our action surge. Mm, I was thinking we could do another hit. That's fine. How about a pommel strike on him? Done. <laughs> he saved on the pommel strike, and he's got one hit point left. I love it. Alright, here comes another teleporting creature. Oh, God. <laughs> what is garroted? 3 to 18 damage per turn. Affected entity is being strangled by a garrot. It is silenced and takes 3 to 18 bludgeoning damage per turn. If the entity and the garroter move more than 17 feet apart, this condition ends. Oh, God. All right. All right, Kale. There's not much you can... There's nothing you can do. He can't cast spells because he is garroted. That is a bummer. All right, Kale. That's your turn. <laughs> you know what? Why don't you, why don't you whack this guy with, <laughs> with your staff? Done. And you missed. That's just fine. That's fine. All right. All right. Shadow Heart. My God. Same thing for you. You can't cast any spells. Uh, let's do a main hand attack on the guy who's going to die. Let's make sure that he does. So he's not moving around. That's beautiful. Good stuff. Can you push this guy? You can. All right. Let's see if um, Shadow Heart maybe can push this guy far enough away that she'll no longer be garroted. <laughs> Athletics failed. That's fine. All right. Hey, Thick. Let's try out. <laughs> Let's try out Polymorph. Let's turn this fella into a sheep. Done. Can a sheep garrot people? I can! That's not fair! <laughs> a stupid bastard. Stupid sheep. Oh man, I was really hoping that would end the, uh, the effect. Alright, whatever. Whatever! Lizelle, we're gonna need you to carry this, man. For this, the Shadow Curse Lance sucks. <laughs> uh, Alright. Hey, I think that's your turn. Scratch. Come on over here and bite this fella. Nice! Critical hit! That's fantastic! You made up for like 18 misses in a row. That's good stuff. Alright, they're taking their bludgeoning damage. I hate it. Oh no! He tries to garrot. Hey, Thick. Where did, uh... Oh my god! They... Oh no! These measle things teleport the character with them! When they're garroted, that is not good. That is really not good. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. Uh, let's see what we can do with this. Let's come up here and um, uh, we're gonna bite this guy, I guess. <laughs> Scratch that guy. Done. Five damage. Strike. All right, Lizelle. Come on up. And let's start attacking. Let's hit this guy with a lacerate with advantage. Beautiful. Beautiful. And let's hit him with a Soul Breaker, as well. He's stunned. Took a bunch of damage, that's fantastic. All right, Lizelle, that's your turn. All right, Gale, you're gonna get an attack of opportunity, but you gotta get the hell away from this guy. 
Let's have you step as far away as you can. Attack of opportunity misses, but he does not get far enough away, but he's still got some more movement. Get away from that fella. Oh my god. My god. Oh no, wait. Still more to go. Alright, if we get more than 17 feet away, this, uh, this garroting should end. Alright, Gale is definitely more than, what is it, uh, 17 feet apart, so this, this status should end, maybe when we, uh, end our turn, let's see. Uh, there's nothing else you can do anyway, Gale, so that's your turn. Shadowheart, you're gonna have to run back in here. Let's get you to use... Dash. She's gonna get an attack of opportunity as well, but she's gonna get the hell away from this thing. We're gonna try to get our 17 feet away. That's what this says, right? If the entity and the garroter move more than 17 feet apart, this condition ends. Fine. Get the hell away from it. Take your attack of opportunity. 12 damage, whatever. Beautiful. Nice. And how about some mass healing word, at least to help yourself. Done. Beautiful. Alright, Haythik, I think it's time we start putting some of these guys to sleep. Can we get both of these guys? 32 hit points. 22. And we'll get the sheep. Done. Go to bed. Alright, finally the garroting ends. That was Oh, maybe because he was a sheep it broke. And he was just stuck garroting because Shadow Hearts ended when she stepped away. Alright, Scratch, it is your turn. We're just gonna have you step up. You're not gonna do anything else. You're just gonna hang out there and let these guys go. Here comes the measles, Shadow teleporting back in, and garroting Shadow Heart again. <laughs> He's a fucking bastard. Alright, Basket. Come out here and scratch this guy. Done. And a miss. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, Lizelle. How about a menacing attack on this fella? That might put him down. Beautiful, it does. Thank God. My goodness. <laughs> this guy's sleeping, but we have to we have to deal with this, so. Can you reach him from there? You cannot. You can't get any closer. This is a bonus action to click your heels. Beautiful. Done. I always forget about that. All right, Lizelle. You need to save us. Menacing attack on this fella. With advantage. Oh! <laughs> Lizelle! No! We needed that. Oh, God. All right. All right, Gail. Get a little closer. And how about we try your new phantasmal killer? On this fella. Done. He's phantasmed. <laughs> Shadowheart, let's have you first drink a health potion. Next, how about a guiding bolt? Level two, guiding bolt on that fella. Done. 19 damage. Everybody always gets left with one hit point. Whatever. Shadowheart, you're going to celebrate. You did a good job. How about the power? Done. The sheep is still sleeping. Oh, and Haythik, you can do this with a main hand attack. Done. Beautiful. He's done. Last guy left. Why don't you, uh, heal Shadowheart? Level three, done. We're gonna be long resting again. <laughs> All right, and that is your turn. Scratch, you can go ahead and bite this guy awake. Done. You might even, yeah, I was gonna say, you might even unpolymorph him. Critical hit, that was fantastic. That's your turn, and we got a whole round of trouble for this fella. Basket, you get in there. Miss on your scratch, that's just fine. Lizelle, you're gonna try for a menacing attack. Done. Beautiful. He saves on the menace, but he took a bunch of damage, that's fantastic. We'll hit him with a goading attack, sure. Make sure he attacks Lizelle. He's goaded, I love it. And he took a bunch of damage, fantastic. Might be some sleeping in his future again. <laughs> Gail, how about some magic missile? Level three? Everything you got. Torment. Beautiful. Did he go down? No, he didn't. Six damage left. All right. Can't give up. All right, Shadowheart. How about you get up here and whack this guy with a concussive smash? Feel Done. Mistress is oh, you missed Shadowheart. That's not cool. You're not supposed to miss. <laughs> All right. Done and done. That's her turn. He's been goaded. He attacks Lizelle, he misses, she attacks him back, I love it. She misses though, whatever. <laughs> Alright, this guy only has six points of health left. Let's see if we can possibly mock him to death. We haven't done that in quite some time. Hey, Thick, have at it. Oh, he saved. <laughs> that would have made me very happy. Can you get in here for a flourish? You can. I'm gonna hit him with a flourish. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Saves on the flourish, takes four damage, that's good. That's just fine. Scratch, can you do the honors? Don't miss. Nice. Oh my god. Oh my god, fuck these measles. <laughs> I hate these things. <laughs> Let's see what they had. Some money and some rope. And we got another long rest in our future. My god. My god. Alright. Lesson friggin' learned. I was not ready for this episode. My god. <laughs> this thing just kicked off strong. It's been a week since I played. We leveled up just before we played. I completely forgot Shadowheart has Banishment and Polymorph. We could have banished one of these creatures to another realm. Alright, whatever. There's plenty of Shadow Cursed lands <laughs> for us to try that all out in. Alright, before we take another dang step, the team's gonna rest again. Thank God I have <laughs> so many camp supplies. Alright, the team has rested up. Thank God we saw that ambush. That would have been so much worse. I really thought we were just going to deal with them so easily. <laughs> that garroting was scary. All right, we're going to see if we can get across the water here. There's another barrier on the shadows. Hmm. What to do? Oh, Be Jesus. Well. This place is trapped. No, Lazelle. Jesus Christ. Lazelle. My God. All right, I was looking in here. There's chains on the floor. It looks like this place is booby-trapped to high heck. I was just going to avoid it, but oh. There is a Harper note over here. Interesting. All right, we will come in here. We will disarm this trap. Haythic by himself. Yes, good. These guys love setting off traps. It's their favorite thing to do. We'll take some guidance. Thank you very much, Shadowheart. Beautiful. All right. Oh, I guess we're going to go in. <laughs> One day I'll catch a break. There is a Harper interrogation transcript. That is... Hmm, not ideal. Let's take a look, see what it says. Official interrogation transcript. Harper in charge, Kaladove Everspring. Transcriber, Luna Shorn. Your name? Doll, doll, timber ma'am. Occupation? Farmer ma'am, potatoes. Ah, a farmer. Hmm. How many guards is Thorm stationed at the south wall, doll, timber? What do you mean, south wall? Do not play the fool with me, Timber. The Moonrise South Wall. I, I don't. I swear it. Liar! Write this down, Luna. Thorm's spy refuses to cooperate. Harsher measures required. I said write it down. Great, so they're torturing farmers? That's... that's awesome. <laughs> oh, there is a traveler's chest back here. Nice. We'll check that out. We'll unlock the traveler's chest. We'll take that guidance. Thank you, Shadowheart. Nice. And what have we here? The Ring of Twilight. Treader by Twilight, you gain a plus one bonus to armor class while obscured. Interesting. Well, nobody on our team is really stealthy. We don't do, uh, we're not really obscured too often. I'm so glad that we completely nullified the effects of the, uh, of the shadows, only to find out this place is still horrifyingly dangerous. <laughs> oh no. We just got XP and autosaved. Oh no. <laughs> what do we get the XP for? <laughs> oh god. All right, I'm stepping forward. I'm stepping forward. Can I step through this? All right, again, only one way to find out. Stepping through. Yeah, we're fine. All right, good, good, good. <laughs> uh, scary. It's very shadowy in here. I don't like it. <laughs> no one's in here. Man, I thought this was going to be another spot that was like protected. All right, we're going to step over here and discover this um this rune sigil. There we go. Waypoint discovered. We're in the Wreathwind town. Mmm. Alright. Alright, well, we're gonna go see if we can find the House of Healing, I suppose. And wake up Art Culla. I don't think we can go this way. Alright. We're gonna open up these doors. Against my better judgment. Be cursed. Interesting. It's just empty. See that symbol on the ground? This was a Mason's Guild. What symbol? Where? On display. Perhaps someone ah. Oh my god, this is... this is terrible. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no, we have... oh, there's a plaque over there we might be able to read. We have to be able to wake up Art Culla because I really want to, uh, lift the Shadow Curse, which is, I'm pretty sure what... There's so much going on in this, <laughs> at this point. But I'm pretty sure that's what, uh, Halson is looking to do. My mind. Is to save these lands from the accursed... Idiot. Shadows. Can we get over here? Alright, we can't go that way. We have to tread deeper into the town, as scary as it is. Oh shit, 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 shit! I can talk to this person. Alright, what are you doing? 
<laughs> a level. Oh no! I was gonna talk to you. I was reading you. Oh man. <laughs> she was a level five gold dwarf who was not ambushing, and we could have talked to her. Uh, I'm gonna step over closer to where she was. I don't love the idea of doing it, but we're gonna do it. I'm gonna keep our eyes peeled. She probably teleported somewhere right around here. All right, we're going in this door. We're trying to get this way anyway. I'm gonna react to that skeleton first. See what he says. Let this be a warning. Those who defy Shah's will shall suffer darkness without her blessing. Uh, I hate it. <laughs> it's stressing me out. There's nothing in here of any... Nothing we can search, but there's a plaque over here. We'll come take a look at that. There's no one hiding. All right, we're gonna go look at the plaque. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting... Something else. Here lies the Grand Mason. His bones and lies exposed. Oh man, we're getting so much inspiration we don't need. <laughs> I can only bank four of them. Odd looking bones. Let's take a, a look. A pile of crushed bones of varying shapes, sizes, and creatures. This is awesome. This is so cool. This is all very, very well done. Oh, there's some more infernal iron. I don't know that we need any more of that. But we're going to come pick it up anyway. Go give it to Karlak, I guess. Alright, we're going to come open these other doors. We're still basically heading in this general direction. We're, we're kind of... Oh, wait. There's... Some scrolls over here. We'll take this stuff. Ooh. There's an ornate wooden hatch. Damn it. Alright. Oh, man. I really want to go in this hatch. <laughs> Alright. I really want to go in that hatch, but... Uh, I really Let's also want to find out <laughs> if we can find this house of healing, which is going to be off in this direction. Can we walk on this tree? We can. Scary. Oh, there's more skeletons over here. First, we're going to look at these skeletons. Dark Justicius, who fell long oh my ago God. in service of Shah and Catherick Thorne. have originated from somewhere nearby. All right, you guys got to stop talking over each other. <laughs> can you hear me? All's well that ends. What? Not as bad as it could have. All right, I was going to go out on this tree, but there's another one up here that seems more in line with where we're going. We're going to come up this Never way. A dull moment. And I thought I heard someone yell, can you hear me? All right, we found the person who was yelling, can you hear me? It's Arabella, which I think there was a tiefling Arabella in the grove um, who we saved from Korga. I think if this is the same person, let's find out. You there. Oh, no. What was that? Hey! I know you. Yes, you do. You're... Oh, no, 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 no. Twist him up. <laughs> nice. Isn't that Arabella? The little girl Korga nearly killed. That's what I just said. <laughs> Sorry. It knocks the wind right out of me. What are you doing? Where are your parents? Well, that's quite a powerful spell. I bet there's a great story behind you learning it. That druid idol I took? It changed me. I can do all sorts of stuff now, not just the vines. Really? I think real hard and say some loud words and then it happens. Mostly. Gail, you got any thoughts on this? <laughs> well, normally tales of stolen artifacts are tragedies. I'm glad you bucked that trend. Tragedies? Them's the sad ones, right? I hope not. Especially since mom and pops... Oh After no. Zethor, when he. Well, there was an ambush. Mum yelled, run! So we ran. I could hear him run behind me. Till I couldn't. Still can't find him. But I bet you can. You'll help me. I just know it. Yes, of course. I will find your parents. You can count on me. Oh, thanks, mister. Shadowheart I approves. Need help me again. Hmm. The vines won't last forever. I don't. I don't suppose I can stay with you. Yes, 100%. Just till you find Mom and Pops. I won't be any trouble, I swear it. Go immediately to my camp. Of course, yes, thank you. Of course, you can stay in my camp. Oh, thanks. Shadowheart approves You're again. You're the best. So you send Mom and Pops there. I'll be waiting. Here, old man. <laughs> All right, cool. Done. All right. She said those aren't going to hold them forever. Mm. All right. We, uh, we already know we have to find all the people from the Grove, and I'm imagining they're all going to be in the Moonrise Tower, so... What's that? Nice, we found a skeleton who had the true love's caress. Fond caress. 
One of a magical pair of rings, this allows the wearer to receive Warding Bond from a creature wearing the matching ring. Warding Bond, ward an ally, they gain resistance to all damage and a plus one bonus to their armor class and saving throws. Each time the ally takes damage, you take the same amount of damage. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, whatever. We'll take it. Bonded by love, the wife's diary. Let's take a look at that. In the fifth year of our union, we faced the biggest hurdle yet. My parents became quite ill, and we became their caretakers. It was a dark and difficult time filled with emergencies of every possible type. Gone were the easeful days in which our time was our own. Our days were filled with work, each other, and little else. During our darkest moments, I wondered if we'd survive it. But the bond of love we had was resilient. It could bend and bend and bend, but would not break, no matter the pressure. How sad. All right, we are like nearly there. It should be right in front of us. All right, it looks like we can go in over here. Let's see if we can get in. Nice, the house of healing, we found it. Beautiful. No one's in here. There's more Teddy. Oh, someone's in here. Sister Lidwin and Komira, who does not look alive. Let's step in and talk with Sister Lidwin. Don't call the doctor yet. Oh, God. Oh, I've my got God. Patients, switches. I know I can do this. Oh, oh. <laughs> you're a patient. This is the children's ward. Triage is back that way. No. <laughs> this corpse. It's Arabella's father. <gasps> no. The end, I contemplate. No. Oh, my God, dude. The Shadow Curse lands suck. <laughs> I love that one of my options is just, I see you got medical supplies on hands. All right, let's see if we can find out. Why are you treating a dead body? Not dead. Merely medicated to ease the pain. Oh, I hate everything about you. <laughs> All right, I am, I am tempted to tell her that they're just sleeping peacefully and that she'll just go away. <laughs> so we can see, uh, we can search that body, but we're going to try sleight of hand. We'll give the corpse a poke done. Little guidance, thank you very much. Hopefully this, this has the same effect. Oh my god! Listen, we got so much inspiration, I'm using inspiration. <laughs> Man, we came so close. Roll again, done. We still have our still have our guidance. Done and done. Beautiful. I see movement. The patient's awake. Oh my god. Hello? Oh, yeah. this is Can terrible. You hear me? <laughs> now that that's sorted, might I purchase some supplies? All right, we're gonna leave her alone. Hopefully, she leaves. Oh, she doesn't. All right, I'm gonna search the body in front of her. Hopefully, she doesn't give a shit. Kamira's locket. We're not stealing from them. It might be wise to bring that back to the kid. I don't know. I don't know. We'll be able to talk to the kid no matter what. All right, Locke and Kamira are there. I believe that's both of her parents. No Get to Baldur's Gate. There's a note on the table and a loot and a drum. An old map in a druidic style of what appear to be hidden routes out of the Emerald Enclave. The destination is marked as Baldur's Gate and a note is attached. Take only what you can carry. Go through the mountain pass. If anyone falls, leave them. Oh, geez. You can't afford to be slowed down by excess baggage. Good luck. That is terrible. All right, we already have as many instruments as we need. There is a healer's ledger. We'll read that as well. The Wreathwind House of Healing's inventory of various poultices, tonics, and potions. Supplies appear to have dwindled dramatically in its final days, and upon the book's front cover is scrawled a message in black ink. Justiciars only, no exceptions. Hmm. All right. We're going to leave the children's ward. My God. <laughs> this, this is the worst. We'll open the door. I regret, I regret coming here. <laughs> like, Halson, you're on your own. This place is too, too much. Uh, back here somewhere. Let's come on up. Still breathing, despite everything. There's a button. Do I dare push the button? Oh, and there's a bunch of, oh! It's the guy from the, um, from the, uh, trailers. Huh. All right, I'm not going to push the button until we go talk to this guy. I want to push the button so bad. <laughs> but he might get mad, and then we might not be able to talk to him. We'll push the button on the way out. All right, we're coming down to talk to this guy. Oh, God, I hate it. I hate it. Are we talking to him from up here? I think we are. <laughs> All right. The objective of the Scalpel oh Sisters my God. is to soothe. For the Scalpel, indeed, is an extension of Shah. 
Oh, See God. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Hear its comfort. Hear the very melody of mercy. Dude. Pray, sister. Show us the extent of your beneficence. Oh, we're gonna have to fight Stop. these guys, aren't we? <laughs> Stay your hand, for it slaps where it should stroke. We can hardly hear the patient sighs of solace. Perhaps it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. Come, step forward. I'm stepped forward enough. Sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. Uh... <laughs> All right, let's see if we can find out what the hell's going on here. What wrong has this man done to deserve such torture? Behold, sisters, the very face oh, of God. <laughs> One who mistakes tenderness for torture. Go on, acquaint the face of ignorance with the true object no. of our studies. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay, I thought they were going to attack. Absence. No other word captures the heart of Shah so very perfectly. It is the scalpel-led journey that leads from pain to peace. God, a living nightmare is this. That's what I'm saying. See, what is the light of eyes but the cancer that causes one to witness the laceration of being? See, if see what sharp brings shadow heart. Is the symptom, then darkness is the cure. For in light there is presence, but in darkness there is absence. Oh my God! In light is presence, in darkness absence. Ah! <sighs> but you, look how the sucker of Shar eludes you. See how painfully present you remain. We do not wish to see <laughs> no. you suffer so. Let us cure you. All right, we're going to keep talking with them. I mean, there's no way we're getting out of here without a fight. There's just no way. But we're going to keep talking while we can. We're going to try to persuade them. The sisters aren't ready. They'll make me sick instead of curing me. I will take some guidance, sure. And, uh, yeah, we'll take Voice of the Circle. Thank you, Lucelle. Done. <laughs> oh, God. We might just squeak by. Nice. Their incisions are as yet still streaked with imprecision. That Can we get him to cut himself? <laughs> you need to be absent. How to steady their hands, I wonder. All right, we're definitely taking the bardic persuasion answer. I think that it means we're going to try to convince him to let the sisters practice on him directly. Let's find out. I take joy in performing with a master of my craft. I'm sure the sisters are the same. Why don't you volunteer? All right, we've got every bonus we could possibly have, including bardic advantage. Fantastic. Here we go. Nice. Oh, nice. Fuck, good. This better be him getting cut by the sisters and not. <laughs> I Shadowheart and Lazella proves. By example, I must edify and quell the light that blinds us. You need to put that guy out of his misery. Come, sisters. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, it worked. Oh my god. Dude. Oh, oh my god, his, his body's messing up. All right, Sister Vanessa is racing up to us. Another sister is racing up to us. We are in a very good spot. I'm glad we came up this way. I mean, not for Liz Lizelle can jump down there. Is he dead? I think Malice Thorn is dead. Sister Gian, they're all they're all dashing towards us. Let's take a look at one of these guys. Ah. Uh... They're not that bad. They have necrotic resistance and fire resistance. 
an opportunity attack. All right. Yeah, Malice Thorn is dead, and I think he clipped underneath the uh, floor there. Hopefully, we can still loot him. All right, Basket, you go first. Come on up. And how's about... You know what? Why don't you, uh... Why don't you see if you can scare this sister? Done. Saved on the scare. That's all right. All right. Hey, Thick. I was loving slow. We're gonna cast slow on as many people as we can. One, two, three. Was there any more of these guys? Can I see you down there? Target is out of sight. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. All right, that's good enough. Done. One got slowed. Oh, I didn't, maybe I couldn't see them. Hmm, maybe not. All right, whatever. You're slowed. All right, and how about we come hit this lady with a flourish? Done. And <laughs> miss. Boo. <laughs> whatever. Here, let's lighten the mood. Let's perform the bard's dance. <laughs> time to strike. All right, Lizelle, it is absolutely time for you to strike. You probably can't drop that. Oh, it is a weapon. All right, cool. Yeah, let's hit these guys with a disarming attack to start. Beautiful. Hathic jumps in with cutting words. That's fantastic. All right, she did not drop her weapon. Let's hit her with another disarming attack. Done. Weapon dropped. Beautiful. We're gonna go ahead and action surge. Done. And how about a main hand attack? Done. Beautiful. One down. I love it. All right, Lizelle. That is fantastic. Why don't you come down here and keep these ladies busy? Is there room for you to misty step down here? Yes, you can. Beautiful. Do it. And guess what you're gonna do? Cleave. <laughs> I love it. Nice! Oh, that's so good. I love it. Beautiful. Alright. Shadowheart. Let's get you to also Misty Step down here. Oh my god, where are you going? Where are you going to do the Misty Step? What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, where are you going? <laughs> Alright. Spirit Guardians. Radiant damage. Done. Beautiful. That was very good. And how about you perform the bard's dance? We are celebrating for doing well so far. Sorcery. All right, Gail, why don't you step forward a little bit? Maybe we can see some people. Can you hit this lady with Phantasmal Killer? Yes, yeah, you can. Oh, no, don't climb down to do it. Okay, good, 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 good. Nice. All right, she's going to take 4 to 40 damage every turn. I love it. Scratch, there's not much for you to do. Why don't you just hang out there? <laughs> All right, the sisters are going. Mind screech on Lazelle. Ugh. All right, one of them, I think, just took some damage. Yes, it did. 26 damage. That's fantastic. Basket, there's not much for you to do either. Let's get you as far out as you can go. And we'll see if we can get him down there. All right, the other sister's going. Don't use mind screech on Lazelle. Stop it. <laughs> Stop screeching at Lazelle. Nice. Lazelle uses an opportunity attack and I think puts one of them down. That's fantastic. Oh, it's so good. All right, Lizelle, you might be able to put this lady down right here. How about a main hand attack? Done. She's down. I love it. Lizelle, you can dash as a bonus action, can't you? Yes, you can. Let's get out over here. Might not be, um, mm, too far away. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. So close. All right, whatever. We're going to get close to this lady, and we'll shoot her. We'll hit her with a ranged attack from too close. <laughs> Done. Critical hit! Beautiful, Lizelle, you're so good! You're just, uh, so good. Alright. How about... Are you carrying anything you are? How about a disarming ranged attack? You got this, Lizelle, come on. Weapon dropped! My god, Lizelle! That is fantastic! <laughs> and I think you got a little more in you. How about, um, average yeah, a regular ranged attack. Done. Miss! That's what I expected with the ranged. Good job, Lizelle. Lizelle, you need to celebrate. Bard's dance. All right, Shadowheart. How about a guiding bolt? Uh, how many hit points this person got left? Eight. We'll do a level three. There's a long rest in our future for sure. <laughs> oh, and you miss. All right, that's fine. That's fine. All right, Gale. Magic missile. Level one should be fine. Done. Beautiful. Nice, and Lizelle is inspired. Masterful execution. I can't believe we talked that guy into dying. <laughs> All right, first things first, we're going to go search his body. All right, he has a key, a battered loot, a loot with the initials AC meticulously carved into the body. We're going to equip that. Oh, we got XP for that. Oh, what? 
What? That's how we're gonna wake up our color with music? Oh my god, that's so good. That is so good. <laughs> oh my god, I better be the one playing the music. Haythic needs to be the one playing the music. Oh, uh, that's so cool. All right, that's so good. That makes me so happy. All right, he also had the Surgeon's Subjugation Amulet. Paralyzing critical, once per long rest when scoring a critical hit on a humanoid, the wearer can paralyze the target for two turns. All right, we're gonna take that. Someone's gonna wear that, that's awesome. He's got some ingredients. Cloud Giant Finger, hmm. 84 bucks and some camping supplies, I love it. Oh, and the surgical bed we can interact with. Let's see what he says when we touch the surgical bed. <gasps> no, we got onto it. Get off the surgical bed. <laughs> that was unexpected. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's where we're gonna leave it. We found what we needed to wake up Art Kulla, a loot of all things, which makes me very happy. I hope we perform to wake him up. And we also had the most interesting interaction I've had in this game thus far. That was unbelievable and fantastic. When we come back, we're going to head back to the Last Light Inn and see if we can wake up Art Kulla. Uh, and then I guess we're going to continue pressing on into the Shadow Curse Lands to see if we can find the Moonrise Towers. But we'll do that in the next episode. So subscribe for more Baldur's Gate, and I'll see you next time.